Click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching Seward Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends in this video lecture today I am gonna show you here how you can find out the quantity for the concrete and staircase means cement, sand and aggregate. Let's start. So first of all uh, I will tell you about this sketch. First of all I have to design the staircase to the height of the 10 feet right and this is uh, these are the steps one two three four etc okay and i have taken a copy from this section okay which is this one which riser height is six inch and trade is 12 inch so riser six inch is equal 0 0.5 feet and trade is 12 inch is equal one feet and hypotenuse this side okay which is 13.41 inch is equal 1.11 feet right so this is a copy from these uh, from these steps right now uh, the breadth of this staircase is four feet and waist thickness is this is the waist okay which thickness is six inch is equal 0 0.5 feet and the length of the waist is from top of the bottom which is 21.5 feet let's start remember for more videos you must like this video and subscribe this channel because per day i upload one video to this youtube channel you must like and subscribe this channel if you need the civil engineering notes articles sheets drawings so you can visit my website www.civilglobal.com don't forget to like and subscribe this channel thanks let's get start so riser 6 inch trade 12 inch and uh, breadth of the staircase is 4 feet and height of the uh, total height of the staircase is or I have to design the staircase to the height of 10 feet. Let's start. First of all, I have to find out the number of riser. That how much riser are required to design this staircase to the height of 10 feet. So number of riser are required. So let's start. Number of riser. Numbers of a riser. When you want to find out the number of risers, so you can use the formula total height divided by height of riser. So this is the formula. Total height divided by height of riser is equal number of riser. So is equal total height. We know that this is 10 feet. Okay. And riser height is 6 inch is equal 0 0.5 feet. So just right here 10 feet divided by 0 0.5 feet so total number of riser will become 20 numbers okay so this is the formula to find out the number of riser in staircase okay now uh, first of all i have to find out uh, uh, the volume of one riser okay so our volume of one step sorry volume of one step So for that uh, volume of one step, one divided by two, because this is the cross section for this step. Okay. Therefore, I divide it by one divided by two, because this is the total rectangle. Okay. And I have to take the half of the rectangle. So I have to take this one section, eh? this one, right? So therefore, one divided by two and are 0 0.5 feet so 0 0.5 multiply trade is one feet so one feet and breadth of the staircase is four feet so right here four feet so just do calculation for these so one divided by two multiply one uh, multiply uh, 0 0.5 multiply one multiply four so one safety right right here one safety one cft cubic feet is the volume of one step okay so total volume of step total volume of steps so already we have a 20 numbers and one fit is a one step volume one safety is a one uh, step volume okay so 20 safety already okay 
Now I have to find out uh, volume of waste. So step is already clear. Okay. Now this is the waste. Okay. Which length is from the top of the bottom 21.5 feet and thickness is 0 0.5 feet and breadth of the staircase is already 4 feet. So volume of waste. So for that use the formula L multiply thickness multiply breadth is equal L is 21.5 thickness 0 0.5 waist thickness and breadth of the staircase is 4 feet so do calculation for these 21.5 multiply 4 multiply hmm, 0 0.5 43 so 43 CFT is the volume of waste okay now total volume of staircase because waste is already clear and steps are already clear okay so uh, now volume of total volume of staircase total volume of staircase is equal 20 plus 43 so is equal 63 CFT 63 CFT cubic feet is the total volume of staircase but remember this is this is wet volume okay This is 63 CFT is a wet volume. Now I have to convert it to the dry volume. Dry volume is equal 63 multiply 1.54 is equal 66.22. Okay, 63. Sorry, 63 multiply 1.54. 97.02 63 multiply 1.54 97.02 so 97.02 CFT so this is the dry volume right Now in dry volume you can find out the quantity of cement, sand and aggregate very easily. How? For example, uh, I have to do uh, the concrete uh, in this. Just I have to use the second sheet. Okay, so this is the dry volume. Already you can see it. Dry volume 97.02. Okay, so I have to do the grade of concrete uh, in this staircase. Uh, 1 to 4. Okay. 1, 2, 4. 1 is uh, cement, 2 is sand, and aggregate is 4, right? So, uh, sum of ratio becomes 7. Now, I have to find out cement. So, for the cement, 1 is cement divided by 7. Sum of ratio, multiply 97.02. 97.02 is equal. It will give us the total volume of cement and do that divide by 1.25. So, it will change to the number of bags of cement or number of uh, numbers of bag. Mean bag cement. Okay, it will give you number of bags because uh, one bag cement or 50 kg cement volume is 1.25. Therefore, you can also find out the uh, volume of sand. So, sand is equal to divide by 7 multiply 97.02 is equal. It will give us volume of sand. Same like uh, aggregate you can find out here. So, 4 is aggregate divided by 7 multiply 97.02. So, it will give us volume of aggregate. So, this is the easy way to find out uh, 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 volume of uh, uh, staircase and also with the, from that volume you can find out uh, uh, the volume of cement sand and aggregate means material in which you can uh, make the staircase so this is the class for today but this is the important class because many students they were asking about this question for more videos you must like this video and subscribe this channel thank you all the best bye